Hey guys, this is Jamin. This is my channel PC Monkey, where I try to bring you a wide variety of do-it-yourself computer upgrade and repair videos. In this video, I'm going to show you how to update your Windows 11 computer. This is where you're going to process or download all your system updates, security updates, driver updates, things like that. A couple things before we get going, guys. First, please remember to like, share, subscribe if this was helpful. If you want to support the channel a little more, a super thanks is always appreciated. Even a couple bucks goes a long way to me being on hand as often as possible for questions and comments. If you do have to leave me a question, guys, check out the FAQs below in the description first. It could save you some time. If it's not there and you leave me a question, I do try to get to those a couple times a day at least. Second and lastly, a quick shout out to my sponsor, NiceHash. NiceHash is the world's largest hash power marketplace. What that means for you is you can now rent out your computer's unused power to crypto miners online and you get paid for that in Bitcoin. It's a great way to earn some side money. It's a great way to put your computer to work. Check out this link above or I'll have some more information about them at the end of my video. So now let's get into the project. Okay guys, here's your Windows 11 desktop. It's actually pretty simple. You're going to come down to the bottom to your search bar and type in the word updates. And here you see Windows Update Settings, that's what we want. We'll click on that. So this is a pretty common screen to see. Some of you guys may see something else. Uh, some of you are going to see a bunch of updates just automatically populate and possibly start downloading on their own. Uh, others, you'll see some that are not downloading on their own. These are optional updates. It, it will ask for you to authorize them or download them or, or start the updates. If what you're seeing here is what I'm seeing, no updates available, never believe that. You always want to click up here, check for updates, and it'll manually check to make sure that there are no updates waiting to process. The reason why you want to run these updates, guys, is because this helps your computer to not be slow, to not be glitchy, to not have driver issues. Um, so I recommend always having your computer updated. Uh, make sure your updates are set to automatic. And every now and then it's not a bad idea to jump in here and see if anything's waiting in the queue. So as you can see, it said no updates were available, but look, after I started it, look at all the updates that have populated. And again, some are starting off 10%, 12%. These are starting to install on their own. If you scroll down this list, you may see a lot more than I do. You may see less. But again, you may have a, a box down here that has optional updates. I always recommend running those too. Yep, so 100%. This one down here says pending restart. So some updates, they're going to download and they're going to go away. Other updates will download, but it'll be pending restart. It needs to restart the computer to finish that update. So you would come up here and you would hit restart now. After your computer restarts, repeat the process we just did. Go back into the search bar, updates, update settings, and then manually search for the updates up top and get them rerunning again until they're all processed. If for some reason you think an update is stalled or it's stuck or it's not completing, or if you actually get an error message saying that this update couldn't install, there's an update troubleshooter you can run. I'll show you how to run that now. So just like we did before, it's fairly easy. Come down to the search bar here and type in troubleshooter. There you go, troubleshoot settings, that's what we want. We'll click on that. And here you are in system and troubleshoot. We're gonna select this third option here, other troubleshooters, and click on that. And then fourth one down for me is Windows Update. That's your Windows Update troubleshooter. On the right hand side, you'll run that. It'll scan the troubleshoot process and see if there are any errors and then try to correct them. So there you go, guys. That's how you would manually run your updates. That's also how you'd run the update troubleshooter if you think you encountered a problem. Uh, again, feel free to like, share, subscribe if this was helpful. Super thanks is always welcome. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. I do try to get back to those a couple times a day at least. And as promised at the beginning of the video, a few words on my sponsor, NiceHash. So as mentioned before guys, NiceHash is the world's largest hash power marketplace. And again, what that means is you can rent out your computer's unused power to people online who mine cryptocurrency and they pay you for that power in Bitcoin. It's a great way to earn some money on the side with no extra work. It's a great way to start investigating the world of crypto with no additional investment. Uh, you already own the computer. You've already purchased its power. It's just sitting there, not being used. And most of us do own computers much more powerful than anything we use day to day. So it's a great idea to uh, do this. You can check them out here on the link 
or leave me a question or comment below and I'll see if I can help you out. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you on my next video.